Hello, welcome to our new intensive care unit. My name is Dr. J. Fonoem, the Director of Critical Care Medicine, a Vice Chair of Medicine and Program Director of the Internal Medicine Residency Program. Hi, my name is Dr. Philip Otterbeck. I'm the Chairman of Medicine here at Richmond University Medical Center. Hi, I'm Francesco Rotatori. I'm the Chief of the Division of Cardiology at Richmond University Medical Center. Come with me, let's take a look around. In the medical intensive care unit, we tend to have some of the sickest patients in the hospital. They tend to be patients admitted for conditions such as sepsis or a severe uh, bacterial infection that results in us having to monitor very closely both their blood pressure as well as their intravenous fluid administration as well as their outputs in terms of their urinary output. So when uh, this medical intensive care unit was, uh, was designed, uh, one of the key points was to improve the ability of the patient to have their family with them. We all know as a medical professional that uh, when you deal with a disease, it's not just dealing with a patient, it's dealing with, uh, with, with the entire family. And we also know that for the best recovery of the patient, it's critically important to have the family on their side. And for that, the construction included a family zone where families can participate in the care of their loved ones, which has been shown to improve the outcome of our critically ill patients. During the surge of COVID, we had uh, many patients admitted to the intensive care unit. Uh, those patients required meticulous monitoring of not only their blood pressure and other parameters, but especially their respiratory status. Um, in the medical intensive care unit, we'll, we're able to um, put patients on both a ventilator as well as other uh, advanced approaches to uh, management of a patient's oxygenation, such as BiPAP. This facility is going to be uh, absolutely critical for, uh, for our hospital. Um, first of all, we're increasing the size of our medical intensive unit. We're going from 10 beds to 14 beds. We're going to, we're going to have private rooms for all our patients. And the rooms are going to be bigger, and the atmosphere is going to, is going to be much better because there's going to be a possibility of, of closer interaction between patient, family, and nurses. Our new 14-bed intensive care unit will provide the institution and the community with the latest in critical care technology, safety and aesthetics. As far as safety is concerned, infection control is one of those aspects we pay a lot of attention to. The rooms, we have 14 rooms, all have anti areas. Of those 14 rooms, 12 have negative uh, pressure. The, the new medical intensive care unit is going to be equipped with windows, windows that will help nurses be able to see patients at all times. Uh, from both from the nursing station as well as when they're directly in front of the patient. Besides that, we don't have any curtains between the rooms, so that helps with uh, the safety aspect as far as infection control is concerned. We're going to have uh, basically a state-of-the-art facility where these patients can be treated in not only with the best medical care available, with the best technology as well as a comfortable environment for both for patients and their family members when they're admitted to our facility.